The first thing that catches the eye about the 2025 Polestar 4 is what's notably absent, a rear window. This omission isn't merely a stylish design choice. Polestar claims it increases headroom despite the 4's sleek and aerodynamically favorable sloping roofline. However, the Polestar 4 is more than just its unconventional windowless rear. It excels on the winding roads outside Madrid, offering a quick and smooth drive with a comfortable, high-tech interior. While it may not be as dynamically refined as its sibling, the Polestar 3, the 4's more attractive starting price offsets its minor shortcomings. The Polestar 4 offers two powertrains. The base model features a single 268 horsepower motor driving the rear wheels, allowing the SUV to accelerate from 0 to 62 miles per hour in a claimed 7.1 seconds. The dual motor, all wheel drive version adds a front motor, delivering a total of 536 horsepower and 506 pound feet of torque, along with adaptive dampers. The dual motor Polestar 4 we tested included the performance package, which adds 22 inch forged wheels, aluminum four piston Brembo brake calipers, and Pirelli P0 summer tires. The package also enhances the interior with gold seat belts and valve stem caps for a touch of visual flair. The dual motor Polestar 4 is both swift and fairly agile, with Polestar claiming a 3.8 second sprint to 62 miles per hour, making it the quickest Polestar to date. In its softest setting, the ride was silky smooth, and while the adaptive damper's firmest mode introduced some bumps into the cabin, it effectively mitigated body roll and softened the jolts enough to avoid being intrusive. Madrid's roads are in better condition than Michigan's pockmarked pavement, so we look forward to testing the 4 on home turf. One of the best features is the ability to adjust the 4's suspension through the infotainment display, unlike the more complex Olean's dampers in the Polestar 1 and 2. While the Polestar 4 is powerful and feels reasonably stable in corners, the controls, steering wheel, accelerator, and brake pedal feel somewhat detached. Driving the 4 briskly is drama-free but also doesn't evoke much emotion. The more expensive Polestar 3, while not a match for a Subaru BRZ in terms of steering feel, has a torque vectoring rear differential that provides more engaging handling. The 4's brakes are strong but feel distant, with an initial bite that can be overly sharp at lower speeds. All Polestar 4 models use the same 94.0 kWh battery, which Polestar claims can deliver up to 300 miles of range. The dual motor setup is expected to reduce this to around 270 miles, though official EPA ratings are pending. A 400 volt electrical system allows the 4 to charge it up to 200 kilowatts from a DC fast charger, taking the battery from 10 to 80% in 30 minutes, according to Polestar. All models also feature a heat pump to enhance efficiency and charging speed in cold climates. The regenerative braking system offers three levels of adjustment, and a creep function allows the vehicle to inch forward in traffic while maintaining the highest Regen setting. Due to the lack of a rear window, rearward visibility is provided by a roof-mounted camera and digital mirror. Those familiar with digital rearview mirrors should have no issues, but those less technologically inclined might need some time to adjust, as it's harder to gauge depth from the screen. While we didn't mind the setup, it felt like Polestar was addressing a problem that doesn't really exist. The headroom improvement seems minimal, and the top of this 5 foot 11 inch author's head still touched the headliner. The field of view is wider than a traditional mirror and adjusts slightly when turning or reversing, but the benefit isn't as revolutionary as Polestar suggests. Nevertheless, the display is clear and reduces flicker from LED headlights behind. The interior of the Polestar 4 is minimalist yet luxurious. The seats are firm but supportive, and the cabin is filled with high-quality soft-touch materials, although the sportswear-inspired we've made from recycled plastic bottles felt more plasticky than luxurious. Fortunately, other upholstery options are available. The extra headroom allowed by the missing rear window let Polestar move the rear seats slightly back, providing ample legroom. The dashboard features a 15.4-inch, horizontally-oriented touchscreen with Polestar's latest Google-based infotainment system. The interface is crisp and easy to read, with bold fonts and contrasting colors. The well-organized display is customizable, with a split-screen function that shows multiple applications at once and the ability to store up to six driver profiles for saving preferred settings. However, the digital buttons could be larger, as we found it difficult to press the right spot consistently while driving, 
and nearly every function is controlled through the screen. The Polestar 4 distinguishes itself from the more sophisticated Polestar 3 with fun celestial-themed graphics for each ambient lighting color. Every hue corresponds to a planet, and the screen displays detailed animations and facts about each planet. Occasionally, a Polestar 4 zips by in virtual outer space. The Polestar 4 we drove included the Plus package, adding features like a 14.7-inch head-up display, electric reclining rear seats, and a 12-speaker Harman slash Kardon sound system. This system can be upgraded with two additional speakers in each front headrest, allowing the driver to take calls or hear navigation instructions while passengers enjoy music without interruption. We also experienced the Pilot Pack, which adds radar, ultrasonic sensors, and cameras that work together to control the pilot assist system. This system can steer, adjust the force speed, and execute lane changes. As in the Polestar 3, we were impressed with pilot assist but found the lane keeping aid to be overly proactive, although Spain's narrow lanes might be partly to blame. The Polestar 4 will compete with the upcoming Porsche Macung EV and Audi Q6 e-tron, as well as the cheaper Tesla Model Y. While the Polestar 4 faces stiff competition from more established brands when it arrives later this year, its biggest initial challenge will be its assembly. The Polestar 4 is being built in China before production for the US market shifts to South Korea in 2025, meaning early models destined for the states will come with added tariffs. Even after production moves to Korea, the 4's batteries will still be sourced from China, complicating matters further. Before considering any future tariffs, the Polestar 4 will be priced below its German rivals, with the single motor variant starting at $56,300 and the dual motor version at $64,300. While not exactly inexpensive, the Polestar 4 offers a lot for its price. Its streamlined looks, high-tech and well-appointed cabin, and decent, if somewhat uninspiring, driving dynamics make the Polestar 4 an attractive package, provided you can live without the rear window. The 2025 Polestar 4 offers several advantages that make it a compelling choice in the electric SUV market. 1. Innovative Design The Polestar 4 stands out with its unique design, notably the absence of a rear window. This design choice not only sets it apart aesthetically but also increases headroom despite the vehicle's sloping roofline. 2. High Performance The Polestar 4 offers impressive performance with two powertrain options. The base model features a 268 horsepower motor, while the dual motor, all wheel drive version delivers a substantial 536 horsepower and 506 pound feet of torque. The dual motor variant is particularly notable for its 3.8 second sprint to 62 miles per hour, making it the quickest Polestar model to date. 3. Advanced Technology the Polestar 4 is equipped with a high-tech interior that includes a 15.4-inch touchscreen running Polestar's latest Google-based infotainment system.